Greetings, greetings, my beautiful, beautiful cosmic family. I just wanted to come on here and make a quick video. I just wrote something down in my journal to myself because I thought that what I'm currently going through, like far as my consciousness expanding and things like that, my health improving, you know, I'm a, I stopped eating meat and I thought it was shadow work, but I was just, I just confirmed that it's me rebirthing myself. My soul is rebirthing and I didn't want to share this, but if it wasn't meant for me to share this, the video would have been stopped, but all these years, all the traumas, all the pain that I have overcame, I've never been able to just fully cry. My bad about that. And I've never been able to fully conform and just blurt it out. Blurt it out to like, for so many years, I've been just silently crying, silently going through things, silently winning battles, silently fighting conscious negative ego, fighting the possibility of being alone physically because spiritually I am connected and divine to all. But lately I have been feeling like not empty, but reaching out and wanting a hug you know like wanting a laugh with somebody kissing and hugging with genuine intentions from both people um and i was watching this video not too long ago and it was with ayala i really love that that black goddess because she go around healing traumas and she speaks to the people and it was these girls talking about how they were treated by their mother and stuff like that. And then she was crying. She, she like, if you knew, knew these family members molested you and treated you, sexually abused you, why would you keep us around them? Why wouldn't you get the fuck up, pack us up and move us around? So this lady was in her 30s and that child in her still was hurt, but that child never you know, made noise with her cries. It was always silent cries, silent tears. And Ayala said, stop, what's all the silence? Let it out. And that girl let it out. And that felt like me. And, and, and <laughs> I don't mean to bring no tears, but this is me. And you will look at my life and be like, you doing it. You got it all figured out. And I am doing it and I'm rebirthing myself. And you know how you go through active labor, real labor, and you push a baby out of your, your, your V car, your vagina baby. And you push that baby out. And when you pushing that baby out, you just scream. And you birth in this beautiful child. And I don't <laughs> with bruises 
just with hurt, with trauma, I still got up and walked. And I'm thinking I'm going through shadow work. And because I'm like, damn, I'm constantly going through shadow work. Is my life that bad? And spirit telling me, no, you rebirthing yourself. You pushing your new self out. You are going through labor of birth. But it's like, for the past few days, y'all, I have not been eating meat. And I, everything I eat, I kind of like throw it right back up. It felt, you know how when you go through labor, and right when your baby coming out, you start throwing up maybe like five minutes before your baby come out. That's how it just felt because before I got the courage to make this video, after I wrote down in my journal, I threw up. And when I threw up, I just was like, and then I just was like, it's not just about me wanting a man. It's me accepting the fact that my soul tribe is entering into my life. And as much as I want to go back, no matter what I found out about these people, what they have done to me, it's like I'd be like, I missed the thought of loving you the whole time. It wasn't you loving me. It was my love on you. And I just wanted to scream and I just wanted to yell and say, I'm, I'm so thankful for my life. I'm so thankful to be here and I'm rebirthing myself, y'all. And, and everything new that's coming is coming fast because I feel, I feel love around me. Like I feel my soul tribe members and the knowledge I get from these people is like, All these years, I look back at my life and I say, all these years, I always cried silently. And I always just sat there like, and I be cry, cover my face, and I let it go. And I don't cry no more. But my soul told me to let it out. Show the people this i don't care who judge me i don't care who look at me like i'm looking for a guilt trip because baby if you come over my motherfucking house or you try to guilt trip me bitch i won't let you in it's not a guilt trip it's not a a pun to bring people in and feel bad for me this is rebirthed these are happy tears these are tears of accomplishment. These are tears of, I know I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And all these last few days, I've been feeling attacked. Like, damn, is I'm being attacked? Am I okay? Where's my spiritual ancestors? I don't feel y'all the whole time. They like, you rebirthing yourself. And I... Let me calm down because I screamed. I let it out. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Oh, I thank my ancestors. I thank my Archangel Michael. I thank my ancestors. I thank the God above that walk up, that's above us. I thank the mother of nature. I thank every single one of my guys that has been protecting me. Because, baby, they've been protecting me and my children. We've been going through so much. And my ancestors have not stopped protecting me. And I'm so thankful for my ancestors. I'm so thankful for my granddad. I'm so thankful for my grandparents. My Lawrence Tucker, I'm so thankful for you. Grandma Bernice, I'm so thankful for you. 
my grandmother Georgia. I'm so thankful for you. For my grandmother Tanetta, I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful for them because they love me. <laughs> And I don't know. Yo, I was just okay. This just came out of nowhere. And I just was like, I feel. I just, I'm done. I'm done with the, the, the all the stuff that I've accomplished and not overcame. I'm fucking done with it. I'm done. This new chapter in my book. Baby, when it start unfolding, I'm going to look at this video and be like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was done. I knew I was done. Oh, Y'all, I'm about to get up, turn on my music, and turn up. <laughs> And thank y'all for allowing me to be open and show y'all every part of spiritual growth. This shit ain't always peaches and motherfucking cream. And I'm showing you that is not. And most of the things you go through is not shadow work. It's rebirthing. You rebirthing you. They took the old you. Let them have that shit. Now push out the new you. Feel those contractions. I am beautiful. I am divine. I am godly protected. I am divinely protected. I am K Nirvana. My life has been nothing but beautiful. The pain, the cries, the hurt, the happiness, the, the lusting, the you know, the, 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 the everything, the detachment, the attachment, everything is blissfully beautiful because it shows you no matter how many stones get through at you, you will still rise, baby. You just let that shit out. Scream. Scream. Yell, because our ancestors hear us. Mother Nature hear us. She hear my cries. And they've been silent for so long. It's it. I had to let it out, y'all. And... I see a tree right now. Not only am I looking out my window at a tree, but the tree that I see that's within my head is a totally different tree from the tree I'm looking out my window looking at. And this tree is filled with life, memories, um, this tree have grew so big and healthy and all the branches that's come in or the leaves that has left they are off in a rebirth we are like a living tree our children the descendants of our children so you got your children they children they children they children they children you got all of this Peace and love and blissfulness. Blissfulness, y'all. Please <clears throat> hear my cries. My body is yearning for a hug. And my children give it to me, but it's like a little bitty baby hug. <laughs> 
and I love them. I get them every day. And I have to force it out of my son. But it's all right. But I'm yearning for a hug. Like, I can feel my ancestors hugging me spiritually. But I'm yearning for a hug physically from one of the gods on this planet today. The gods or the goddesses. I'm just yearning for a, a hug of genuine love from both. And I'll wait. I'll wait for it. If I got to wait two years for that hug, I'm going to wait. But when I get it, baby, you going to feel it and you going to know I got it. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm going to play me some music. And I love you all. And remember, I'm not doing this for any attention. I'm not going running to the internet for views or looks. What's mine is mine. And it's coming. It's already here. Um, I'm showing those who have silently cried for years. I never cried on nobody's shoulder. Maybe a few after I whooped their ass and they broke me down. But other than that, I never did this. And this is for these are tears of the unknown. Tears of unknown. Because <laughs> I was just fine. I'd be happy. I'd be okay. Sometimes I'd be in my head. We all do. We all overthink. Or oh, that nigga cheating? Or oh, that nigga not? Or oh, she a, a whole ass bitch? Or oh, she not? Like we all go through that. That's something we all go through. So we got to get the fuck up out of our head and allow ourselves to to know ourselves and think for ourselves and love for ourselves and let that shit out because a lot of those thoughts be backed up tears that you ain't let the fuck out. Scream. If I was at the water right now, the last time I screamed was in my car when my uncle, when I went to my uncle's funeral. It's the last time I screamed, but it was to myself. It was meant for me to just scream and let this out because for so many years, like even now, my children rarely hear me cry. They be in a room and I just silently cry or turn on my music. But no, this time, bitch, I had to let it out. And I'm out of here. <laughs>